I think it's most important for me for not to, to not to feel comfortable at any position because you know I've been playing left tackle my whole life. Coming in, I could play left guard. You know, playing center again today. So um, I'm not really comfortable at any. It's just working. You know, at one, each position to get better as you know a player. Taylor, how do you look at the scrimmage? Mario was telling us about it tomorrow. What's oh yeah. Your hopes, expectations, and your mindset when you go into something like that? You know, going into that, you know, we've been working, you know, for the scrimmage day by day, and then tomorrow is coming up. So not just for me, but the whole O-line, whole offense, whole defense, the whole team, we're looking to, you know, just improve our skill sets and just, you know, hold each other accountable to, you know, achieve, you know, greatness in this um, scrimmage. Also, Mario said you guys faded, faded a little bit today. Yeah. Uh, um, when, uh, you know, it's um, important for us to, you know, you know, pick that back up. You know, tomorrow, that's a good opportunity for us to come out and really showcase, you know, oh, we, we had an off day a little bit, but we, we picked it back up the next day. Jalen, tell me a little bit about, you know, yesterday's practice and being fully padded, how that went for you guys. You know, that's our first fully padded practice since, you know, you know the spring. So, um, you know, it was important for us to really be physical and really, you know, communicate. And we had music playing, too. So it was important for us to, you know, to communicate along, against the line and, you know, to really, you know, come together as an offense to, you know, do great. Jalen, we see what stands out with TBD on the field. TBD, his leadership and his... Um, I was going to ask you, what, what stands out in the huddle? The huddle? The stuff we don't hear. What, what stands out in the huddle? He commands our attention and he, you know, does, does his best to communicate, you know, hey, we got this, you know, everybody, we got to focus, we got to get together, and, you know, we need somebody like that on the, um, you know, on the offense. So. Having, having played under Coach Cristobal now for about nine months, mm -hmm. I mean, how does he compare to other coaches he played for in high school and college uh, in terms of, like, building a culture and, and kind of building a team vibe or attitude, I guess? You know, he brings something, you know, different. I mean, each, each coach brings something different to the table. I mean, him, you know, he, you know, demands it, you know. He's like, hey, we're going to do this. We, uh, you know, and if we don't, you know, there's consequences, so.